In this video, I will discuss about how to convert cross cylinder power to spherical cylinder format. Cross cylinder power can be written as two format: one axis wise and two meridian wise. The example of an axis wise power is plus 2.5 180 degree axis and minus 1.5 90 degree axis. And to represent that we are writing this power in axis wise, we use a cross. The example of meridian wise power is plus 2.5 at 180 degree meridian and minus 1.5 90 degree meridian. And to represent that we return this power as meridian wise, we use at the rate. So this cross means power is 90 degree apart. So here axis is 180 degree, so power will be the 90 degree meridian. So this is the difference between axis and meridian. Power always present 90 degree apart to the axis. And at the rate means power is at that meridian. Now if we distribute this axis wise power into a optical cross, then first plus 2.5 180 degree axis. So as we already know that power is present 90 degree apart, so the power will be 90 degree. So here it will be plus 2.5. And minus 1.5 90 degree axis. So the power will be the 180 degree or here minus 1.5. Now you can easily convert this power into a spherical cylindrical format. So if we consider plus 2.5 as spherical power, so the our spherical portion will be 2.5, and as we choose this meridian is spherical so this will be automatically become cylinder and the cylinder power will be different between cylinder meridian and spherical meridian so minus 1.5 minus plus 2.5 or here it will be minus 4 diopter cylinder so our cylinder power is minus 4 and axis will be so axis is 90 degree apart from the meridian. So axis uh, meridian is 180. So the axis will be 90. So our axis will be 90 degree axis. So this is the spherocylindrical format of this axis wise power. Now if we distribute this meridian wise power in optical cross then first plus 2.5 in 180 degree meridian. So as it is meridian wise power. so we can write the power di uh, directly here 2.5 and here minus 1.5 90 degree meridian so here will be the minus 1.5 so again as we considered previously plus 2.5 as a spherical let's consider also also this also 2.5 as our spherical meridian so our spherical power will be plus 2.5 so as this is spherical so this will be automatically cylinder meridian and cylinder power will be different between cylinder and spherical not spherical and cylinder you have to subtract spherical power from the cylinder power so one point minus 1.5 minus plus 2.5 so it will become minus 4 diopter cylinder so our cylinder power is minus 4 and the axis will be so as 90 degree is our cylinder meridian so the axis will be 90 degree apart or 180 degree. So this is the final spherocylindrical format of this meridian wise power. So see the difference. Here minus 4 was 90 degree axis but here minus 4 is 180 degree axis. Totally opposite. Now this is for understanding purpose. How the power is distributed axis wise and meridian wise then you can identify the spherical cylinder format but in exam you don't have that much time to write optical cross then distribute the power meridian wise then you identify the spherical cylindrical format so for that you can follow three steps to identify 
the power directly from the XSOS power or Meridian OS power. Let's see in the next slide.